Hello and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming. We are back with Life in the Village 2. And I want to show you a few things. I've been doing a little bit of exploring and whatnot, getting some of the boring uh, accumulation of resources out of the way. And I'll show you a couple of points of interest I've found as I've been going. There's the fairy ring. Well, I call it a fairy ring. I'm not sure if that's in game thing or not. And uh, sorry if I'm told me about this one back in uh, Life in the Village 1, but it's here in Life in the Village 2 as well. You find these uh, flowers in a circle, then you want to dig down inside that circle and about 30 layers down you'll find a nice surprise. And on this one the surprise was... ready for it... Do do do. emeralds! Uh, sometimes you find diamonds. Um, I'm not sure if there's other. The only things I've found so far with these rings is diamonds and emeralds, but there might be other things. I'm not sure. Uh, do I have my iron pickaxe? No, I should make one. Uh, my explorations, I found a lot of iron. I've got three whole stacks sitting back uh, in my little um, fortress, so that will come in very much in handy. But yes. Bing, there we go so nice little uh, six emeralds nice nice so there you go see uh, it's probably too small for you to see but I, over on my mini map uh, it tells me I'm at height 39 obviously that is too high normally for emeralds uh, but it's about it's roughly for uh, 30 from uh, from where the ring is so yeah you've just got to dig down inside that circle and you'll find yourself something nice Yeah, I'm not sure if it has to be these oxide daisies. I think it could be any flower. I'm not sure. I did find this what almost looked like a, a ring of the yellow flowers, but um, there was nothing in it. So, yeah, this is obviously this was it's on multiple levels. So it's not always just on flat ground. Anyway, so keep your eye out for those. It doesn't hurt to explore, even if you're not sure, because that is very handy to get. I might even be able to trade with that wandering mumbler when he comes around uh what else did i find oh yeah 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 there's some um, it's not of much use as far as i know but it's definitely very pretty i guess you probably need uh what is it uh silk touch to make use of it sorry it's glosellium I found a bunch of glycelium over here. Uh, I really sort of wanted to show you because it, it it showed up different on my map and I was not sure what it was exactly. Uh, and just so you know what it is if it comes up on yours. Go to the mini map. Uh, cave layers. Where are we? I've not actually used this before. I just noticed it on my mini map. Duh. Anyway, uh, it comes up as like this weird blue glowy bit. Um, can I make that bigger? Well, mini map. Where are we? Let's go back again. Options. Instead of sizing on it. Uh, size. Here we are. If I make it bigger, I might be able to actually see it. Here we are, okay. No, it's still a little teeny. <laughs> I thought it would make my visual uh, bigger, but instead it's just made the circle bigger, not the actual. Anyway, it's a funny light blue glow there. Uh, fun, the fun we have. Okay, that was on 30, wasn't it? Get it back there. Oh, yeah, it just had a funny blue glow. It was hard to see. I'm interested in how this might cave layer two one doesn't want to show up anything else does it interesting anyway but here it is the glow cellium with the glow shroom you can get pick up the glow shroom at least but if you try and pick this up it just uh, gives you dirt see but I guess if you had silk touch, I mean, that could be a fun decoration you want to use. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. 
Glycelium, do do do, glycerin block. No, no, okay. Well, there we go. It spreads, which is fun. I've watched it spread out. If I give it a little more surface, not sure how quick it is, but I just saw it spread out earlier. Okay, I can only plant it on the glycelium. That's a very interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, what else did I want to show you? Um, which way did I come back in? <clears throat> Get myself lost. Yeah, you, you, lots of big fun caves. But just the usual stuff. Nothing particularly interesting I discovered. But I do want to put up a um, jumbo furnace i reckon that'd be fun now if you i didn't know if i showed you this just just a reminder if you want to get rid of some of your waypoints like it'll come up when you die you'll have a death point you don't want that sitting around forever reminding you of your failure just click on the remove button and the list and bye bye it's gone okay hey mr goat which way am i over here i want to build it close to home Anyways, I haven't investigated the runestone thing because I, yeah, I keep forgetting to look it up. I might try and do that before the next episode. Uh, yeah, I know there's the transport thing, but I did read something about dungeons or whatever. I, don't know, I didn't find anything while I was digging around in that area, but you never know. Okay, oh yeah, I'm back over here. I want to do the jumbo jumbo furnace I got a lot of cobblestone so I was able to make a lot of furnaces so the deal is you do a nine sorry well a three by three cube some you might say nine by three Ooh, I gotta remember my shift button shift this so I can see it bingo there we are we now have a jumbo furnace da, da, da. not too difficult at all and I can put in I got so much coal as well so I could put in you can put in different fuels from what I gather and different items and you got yourself uh, nine output spots so there we go. I'm not sure if it doesn't look particularly fast, maybe? I can't really tell. But even if it's not, it's a set and forget. I can wander away and have myself a full uh, feast when I'm done. Put in some cobblestone as well. Always handy. Um, don't think I've got anything else cookable there, really. Unless I wanted to make some charcoal, but no. Nah. So yeah, that's the jumbo furnace, and you can set up. Uh, if you set up a hopper here, you can feed fuel, and a hopper at the top will feed in uh, your cookable items. And I think another hopper down the bottom, or you can have your output. If I remember correctly, I'll, I'll, I'll probably test that out. I could test it out now. Hey, let's let's do a test. I, like I said, I've got enough iron to play with, and a little, yeah, I've got enough wood for, for the chests I need. I oh, well, may as well use a couple I've already got, eh? That sounds good. Okay, let's make up some. Hoppers and stuff. So we're talking three hoppers. Yep, and three chests will do. Let's see how we go. 
Ooh, it's getting dark already. Dark, it's spooky. So... Now we want to sort of put it on the edge so we can actually reach it. That'll be helpful. Okay, that's good. Like so. And hmm. I might just dig it under just in case. Like, I can't remember. I have to do it on the. Oh, it was. It did have stuff in it, anyways. Um, don't need to do like this. Aha! Yeah, that well, that much is working. See what happens if I take these out and put them here. Yep, that's working. Oh, somebody's hungry. Ah, there we go, working perfectly. So there's our mega furnace. We could keep it fueled and that'll be especially good if you want a lot of stone. Uh, stone smoothed up stone it's very helpful to be able to just chuck a whole bunch in there and then let it just cook up great for pathways and all that sort of business speaking of which I might just shove a bunch in for future projects There we go. Cool. Oh, that's good. Let's get some achievements done for this episode. Because that's what I like to do. Get out of the way. Okay, what's... what? Whoa. So, yes, I did manage to find some diamonds. And I have found one whole emerald previously. Previously not viewed. Uh, yeah, a bunch of lapis. I managed to get a water bucket, lava bucket. Yeah, a bunch of redstone. Uh, anything else of interest? Not really. It was, just a it was just a standard mining sort of expedition. I just went through a whole heap of caves and um, yeah, didn't find much else apart from those basic things. But I thought that will help me get get going with a lot of this stuff and get just get a stockpile of stone and, and iron mainly. Uh, this is interesting. Read nest. Empty reed nest bees reed nest other bees carpenter bee. What's this one? That's also that's green carpenter bee Green carbon bee. I don't know why they don't stack anyway and sugar cane So yeah, occasionally you get that with wood and stuff you get like a hive piece of wood and a hive piece of reeds Or I am uh, you're gonna have to really investigate that bee stuff never never ever never ever never played around with it Yeah, so that's what I got okay let, let, uh, achievements so I've managed to do all of these and the check mark quests uh, do, do yep got an iron pickaxe collect that found a diamond ooh pretty tree this is fun diamond pickaxe diamond paxel which is fun they're fun things Good thing about this is ooh and chairman. So that's why I wanted a lot of steel so I can make up an anvil and whatnot. And maybe use that. Oh white sleeping bag. What does that take? Just three wool. I can make that. I could I could do that. Okay. Ding. 
cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> you threw me straight in. I thought I'd place it and then hop in, but no. Nah. And look, you pick it up straight away. Oh, that's really handy. But I don't think it's changed my spawn setting, so it's like skip the night without... Nice. Oh, that is handy. Which mod gives you that? Doesn't say on the... Yeah. Tip, tip, tip. Uh, comforts. Hmm. Okay, so oh, there's another one done. What's next? Reward. Ah, another cup of tea. Oh no, it's coffee! Even better. Oh yeah, lava bucket. What is that? Oh, it's just black dye. It looks like... You know the first thing I thought of when I saw that? Elvis wig. I don't know what that says about me, but that's the first thing I thought when I saw. It's like, mm. Okay, moving on. I will move on. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, yeah, that's the collect them all. The backpack is, yeah, hard because you need a ravager thing. A chute. A chute gets you... Is that a, some kind of door? Okay, how do you make a chute? Oh, isn't that interesting? Is that supposed to be like a hopper? Is that what that is? Ooh. Probably find out, I guess, if we try and make one. Uh, if I can remember what I saw. Uh, I've forgotten already. Was it this? Eh, whew. A shoot. So what does a shoot do? Let's see if it's like a hopper. Yeah. A wooden hopper, I guess. What's cookable in here? Nothing. Let's give it a try. Nope. Well, it's not feeding it. Uh, maybe I need to place that first, right? Oh, I'll have to look it up, but not now. Next! A bow, a baobab door and some paper. Okay, helpful. Oak drawers. Oh yeah, they're pretty easy to make, aren't they? Should remember those from the olden days of life in the village one. Bingo! Now, I might store my iron in there, just for fun. Bingo! Okay, so that's good. If you don't know how storage word drawers works, um, just stash something in it. The first item, you just right click with it. And then if you want to grab some out, you just left click. If you hold down shift and left click, you get a whole stack. If you want to dump everything that's in your inventory into that storage drawer, just double right click. And it'll take not just what you're holding, but uh, everything in your inventory. Pretty simple and very helpful. Because obviously when you're doing bulk uh, collections like wood and stone and whatnot, they becomes uh, very much in handy. Rewards, air yeah, level, more paper, good stuff. Oak drawers, one times two. This is even hell, uh, even more helpful. In, when um, when you you don't collect like huge heaps of stuff, but um, there is some repetition. You do the one by two. I'm glad I've still got two chests left. It was this way, wasn't it? Yep, good. Uh, and that gives you two of them, which is helpful. Now, if I was to put that. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll put one here and one here, just for fun. Now, I can store more than one item in it. So, let's go. Say I wanted to store that. I could go like that for there. And then... 
Bingo. So, again, quite helpful uh, and a good way of organizing things visually. Really good when, uh, especially in the later on in the mine colonies when they're asking for materials to build with, uh, rather than going, which, uh, which, which chest did I put that in again? You just have to have a quick look around. You can grab what you need. Love it. One of my favorite mods, most definitely. Oh, more Elvis wigs. Excellent. We're going to Vegas, baby. Uh, what's that? Spruce plate. Okay. Oh, furniture stuff. Cool. Cool. I won't get in the furniture stuff today, even though I love it. Um, ooh, some good um, enchantment books. Oh, where's my steel? Here it is. We can go. Oh, sorry. I press shift right click instead of shift left. Let's do this thing. Dun, dun, dun. So we want pants, a helmet, and some boots. One, two, three. I love doing that. <laughs> and then the breastplate. Bingo! Done. Now we can change out of the flint. And into the steel. So that's two for the boots. And that was one for the boots. Yeah, definitely an improvement. Okay. I wonder if the mine colonists will, will wear that uh, uh, armor. Hmm interesting okay good another one bites the dust and now get some handy chanted books Ooh, very nice so i'll have to get using those what are they protection three feather falling one nice very nice okay i probably want to keep them for my diamond stuff even though they'd be handy right now so this is good chewing through them this is what I meant about it. If I had a big stock of steel, I could just speed through a bunch of these. Uh, what didn't I get with the eye of the pumpkin seeds, right? That's fine. I really should make it a shield, shouldn't I? But I never remember how, probably. Okay, yeah, it's so basic and I can't remember. Right. <laughs> okay, there it is. Interesting. Okay, uh, yep, got it. Pow, pow, stop, stop. Another one bites the dust. You can tell I use shields a lot, can't you? Yeah, nah. Okay. Keep thinking scroll down now the potion strength some bones a nice watering can I'll get me a ooh, another pretty tree okay that's all doable uh, bones give me some of that so I was like this and this and I can't remember the rest no there it is okay water and can empty empty okay so I guess I need to fill it let's give that a try Built. okay good it did go it wasn't just the torch business right now that should I should be able to use this on stuff for happiness let's give it a try no maybe just crops is it still full eh, groovy I should plant some crops hey eh? I've got a seed here. Okay, one, two. I've got a heap of iron. Iron hook, quest completed. 
Yeah, I knew that's why I made a vine. I knew there was some reason to do it. Diamond! And whatever the last one was. What was the last one? Is that emerald? Emerald hoe. Wow. Fancy. Okay, let, let's, let's see what we can do with this. Why am I bothering you to put so much down? I've only got one. Anyway. Now, what happens? Yeah. I pressed right click. Ah, there we go. So just turn it fertile. Not helps it grow. Ah, another thing for me to look up. Look at the fish. Pretty. Okay. Is that enough for today? That might be enough for today. For today's episode. We got a bunch. We got a bunch of uh, achievements done. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have to do get into some fishing and stuff too. And cooking and uh, anyway. And honey and more of the bridges. And uh, not that one yet. Watering can. Yay. Sunny blossom sapling. Pretty. Oh the magnet. I love the magnet. Why haven't I made the magnet yet? Ah, that's why. <laughs> ah, I need an pearl. Okay, that's definitely high on my my uh, mission list now. Is getting an ender pearl and a magnet. It's so good. Any out here? Any endermen? Just just because I need them. No. Okay. Let's see if I can't pick one of those up before next time. And we can make a magnet. That'd be cool. Alright, cool. If you, there's anything you particularly want me to focus on, um, I'm just going to keep running around, finding things of interest, uh, looking more and more stuff up, and getting through these achievements. Um, yeah, if you want me to focus on something, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep having some fun. And I hope you can uh, join me on the journey. Thanks for watching.